What's that your last again? chance trade? My last chance trade today uh, is Goldman Sachs, ticker <laughs> symbol GS on the New York Stock Exchange. The stock just finally broke out in early December, but it's just getting started. Actually, uh, already had a successful retest of that breakout as well. 219, 220, that's the area you want to trade against. If, if you are a trader, short-term in nature, you want to keep a very tight stop, I would have it right there. If you're more of an investor, you have a little bit more of a risk tolerance for volatility, I would say like 200. That would be the area where I would say, okay, this trade no longer works, uh, and then reevaluate. But if you're long, it's a 2% dividend yield, it's under 10 times earnings. This is a company that has completely remade itself from the, the bottom up. It is now a technology company operating in finance versus a financial company trying to figure out technology. You can credit a lot of that to uh, the relatively new CEO. I like the name, and here's the best part. I think you have a Berkshire put. Uh, in the summer of 2018, stock had a couple of vicious sell-offs. Berkshire went in and bought more stock twice in two consecutive quarters. I don't think the stock has that long of a leash before Buffett comes back in and buys it to the downside if they disappoint on any given quarter going forward. So I think you can limit your risk, get a nice yield, buy a low price stock that is now heading up and to the right. I like this trade on several fronts. You, you've got a couple of uh, key kind of moments coming early next year as well. The, the strategy day late January, which sure. is, is a lot of focus on that. And I think there was a sense at the start of this quarter that they were going to underwhelm. And I think the market has come around to accept that that might not be the case. I think they're very well prepared for that. And of course, the 1MDB question mark, which hangs over them. And again, according to sources, as Hugh Sun, our colleague, uh, wrote about as well, it, I get the feel that they're close to a resolution. And the number doesn't even really matter. The resolution number never is matters. What matters. Right. It's the uncertainty of that. And when that goes away, regardless of the dollar amount, I think it'll be a positive catalyst. This stock has 0.0% return over the last three years. So yes, it broke out in December. It's been running. But I think there's a lot of room given how long it's underperformed and done very little. Uh, trading uh, at or just below book value still as well.